My next guest is a very talented actor who's getting great reviews for his starring role in the new movie, Definitely Maybe, which opens in theaters tomorrow. We're thrilled he's here tonight. Please welcome our friend, Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> It's nice to be here. It's nice I... to be here with a voice. Yeah. <laughs> you think you're so much better than Lauer, don't yeah, you? It gives me the edge on Lauer. <laughs> Were you mocking him backstage? Yes, I can go laughing low. hysterically. That's yes, good. absolutely. Uh, you know, thanks for being here. I don't want to embarrass you, but I'm uh -huh. going to bring up something that happened to you uh, not too long ago, which. Uh, Many men would, uh, would, would be thrilled to have happened to them. Okay. Uh, you were named one of People Magazine's Sexiest Men Alive. Oh. Uh, 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 <laughs> apparently, uh, yeah. narrowly edging me out, apparently. Narrowly, uh, yes. Let it be, uh, why is yeah. that funny? Uh, yeah. Never seen them so happy. You have, like, three older brothers like me, too. It's like, it, they, they say, oh, one of People's Sexiest Men Alive. Well, who was the, the sexiest, jackass? Yeah, that's... Isn't that what a brother would say? <laughs> exactly, yeah. exactly. As they're it's, beating you with a coconut. Yeah. The, only, the only challenge with that is, is working it into every conversation that I ever have. <laughs> uh, anywhere, all the time. For the rest of your life. Yeah, it sucks when you're talking to somebody about it, then somebody else joins the conversation, and you have to seamlessly find some way to work it in again. <laughs> without having the other person leave. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, it's... All, you know what? You, I got in trouble last time you brought up a magazine thing here. That's, last time you were on me. the show, I held up... You were in another magazine where you would like, they had your abs or so, killer okay. abs. And I showed a picture and uh, it oh, caused you. Embarrassing. It caused you a problem. Um, <clears throat> well, no, I was just joking around. I don't know why it popped into my head, but I said, uh, I said, oh, yeah, there I am with my shirt off. Huh? When I exhale, I, I turn into Tom Arnold. Right, right. Ha ha, whatever. I leave the show. Right. Fly all the way back to Los Angeles, walk into my apartment building right through the lobby, and who's standing there but Tom Arnold? No. <laughs> Yeah. Really? Yeah, and he just lost 50 pounds. <laughs> and um, so I was like... So he's looking good. I yeah. know, I was like, Tom, I'm, I'm so sorry. I don't know why you popped into my head. I was talking about you earlier, and you just popped into my head for some reason. And he was like, such a great... He's such a great guy. I, mean, I know him anyway. I mean, he's, he's a great, nice guy, yeah. Such a sport, such a sweetheart. Just lost 50 pounds, and that little, like, verbal judo move just negated all his hard work. And, uh, and, then, uh, and then so I went up, and I'm feeling just, like, friggin' awful. Right. And I go up to my apartment and I, I order up a, a really nice bottle of champagne and send it to him. And then the next day I see him in the lobby again and he says, you know, Ryan, you, you must be the only guy in the United States that doesn't know I'm a recovering alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Oh, yeah. you're, you're trying so hard to be a good guy. Yeah. So. And it's just not working. Yeah, uh, not so much. Well, let's talk about this. This is must be exciting. You yeah. were just at the Berlin Film Festival. Mm -hmm. And yeah. um, I, 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 any opportunity I get to go anywhere mm -hmm. uh, in, in, in travel the world, I'm fascinated. Yeah. Uh, I love it. But I'm curious, you have, you have a great sense of humor, but I'm curious if it translates. Like, I would mm. imagine, whenever I read an interview with you, you're funny, but you're over in Berlin yeah. talking to the foreign press. Does it translate? No, it's, it's weird when you're doing, like, irony doesn't really translate or sarcasm as well. I mean, you're, you, you do these interviews, you're doing a lot of them, you kind of joke around, you have some fun with it, but... Uh, I, uh, uh, I remember I was at the press conference for this movie, Definitely Maybe, and, and I, they said, uh, uh, Ryan, what is it like working with Abigail Breslin? Yeah. Who's, uh, how how old like, is Abigail that? Abigail Breslin, she's 10 years old. She's little, from Little Miss Sunshine, incredible young girl. And I said, well, she's a fantastic actor. I mean, she's, she's like Judy Dench in good makeup. Yeah. And then they just kind of looked like this. They... <laughs> but um, Abigail, she's, um, she's like a 10-year-old. She's not Judy Dench. <laughs> Like, oh, I was just being fun. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I was 12 when I started this interview. Uh, <laughs> just dying on the, this press conference. Uh -huh. You're just like the most boring. I just wrote from then on. They just write out everything out. you say literally. And they're all wearing monocles. Exactly. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yes. She the is... insane actor Ryan Reynolds comes to Germany, <laughs> talks nonsense, leaves. <laughs> he jibba jabbers. Yeah. Uh, you, uh, let's talk about Abigail Breslin for a second. She uh, plays your daughter yeah. in, in the film. And uh, I'm curious because you, you need, it, it's such a delicate chemistry as an mm. actor you need to have when you're working with someone who's yeah. 10 years old. Oh, Did you yeah. get to know her at all beforehand to? Yeah, um, you know, I was nervous. I mean, you know, when you're working with a child actor, you, you first thing you think is I want to take my life with fire. Right. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, um, you know, there's that. <laughs> It was that famous saying by W.C. Fields, never work with kids or dogs. Right. Uh, this was like the exact opposite experience. She was such a doll. But I remember 
I was nervous. The producers called me before and they said, we, we want you to hang out with Abigail and, you know, go out. I was like, really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll go do something. Uh, uh, so they set up this day. We went out to the Museum of Natural History. She wanted to see the turtles and she drags me across the, the, the park, Central Park, all the way into F.A.O. Schwartz. Mm -hmm. I'm in there. I'm, I'm just longing for death. Uh, and, uh, <laughs> and, uh, you are longing I'm for like, death, really? You're longing for the death, really. He wishes to die, this Ryan Reynolds. Insane actor, Ryan Reynolds, <laughs> longing for death. Um, so I, uh, I, 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 I'm like, okay, we gotta get out of here, Abby. So let's, uh, I, I buy her a stuffed giraffe and, and we leave. I, you know, I pay for our leave. As I'm leaving, I look at the receipt and it's, it's, Three hundred dollars <laughs> for the giraffe. Oh my God. I just wanted to get out of this so that I didn't look at the price, and I'm like, "This is you could get a real giraffe for <laughs> less money than this." Yeah. And I said to Abby, "This thing was three hundred bucks. This is crazy." And uh, she's like, "Wow, yeah." And her mom walks up and she says, "Ryan um, bought me a, a a stuffed toy. It cost three hundred dollars. What an idiot!" <laughs> And I was like, at that moment, I fell like, hopelessly in love with this little like, girl. That's I just a smart like, kid. Yeah, I'm kidnapping you and keeping you for the rest of my life. Yeah, uh, she's, she's you really great. plan to kidnap a child? <laughs> insane, <laughs> insane kidnapping <laughs> actor Ryan Henry. Stop him. We have a yeah. clip here. We have a clip here uh, from Definitely Maybe. Uh, yeah. What do we need to know to appreciate this clip? Uh, well, the, the story spans 16 years. I play myself at 38, all the way back to 22. So it's a, it's, a, it's kind of a, a story that spans a lot of time. But I'm explaining my uh, this impending divorce to my daughter, and I have the, the movie's really a romance whodunit, like a romantic mm -hmm. whodunit. But it's a comedy. It's about these, these these three women that come in and out of my life. And I'm explaining to my daughter, and I'm making her guess which one's my mom. Uh, and in this scene, this is a part of the, the younger version of me, and I'm, I'm returning a diary that my girlfriend gave me to give to this other girl, and I don't know why she wanted me to give it to her. So okay, I'll take a look at this clip from Definitely yeah. Maybe. Did you read this? I didn't. I read a page. A page? Two pages Two. at the most. And the part about you and Emily touching each other and kissing. Oh, that part, yeah. Incredibly descriptive. I felt like I was there. You're a great writer. I mean, you know, just... I think you should keep it. You should read it when you're lonely. I can't. I get your diary, so I can't do that. No, really, first. really. I, I just, I don't need it. I've already not... got memorized, so I'm just going to leave it on the table. Keep a hard copy, though. That might be nice for me. <laughs> <laughs> People love this movie. Yeah, uh, definitely, mm. maybe, opens in theaters tomorrow. Go see that film. Ryan Reynolds, always really fun talking always to you. Always good to be here. Simple plan coming up. We'll take a break. We'll be right back. Stick around. All right, everybody. Uh, we are back. Uh, fine show tonight coming up tomorrow night from the new movie, The Spiderwick Chronicles. Actor, comedian, he does it all. Martin Short going to be joining us. From the Boston Celtics, seven-time NBA All-Star Ray Allen will be stopping by. My family will watch. And musical guest, The Kooks. So watch that show. We'll be right back. Simple Plan. My next guest is here with a song from their brand new self-titled album, and on February 25th, they'll be appearing at Irving Plaza right here in New York City. Please welcome Simple Plan. That was great. Hey, thanks for coming back. Good to see you again. That was great. Very, very, very nice. Simple Plan, everybody. We'll take a break. We'll be right back. <laughs> 